Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel Math Bath. Let us start question number 11 from Pierce and Excel A level exam for pure math 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA11 slash 01. Figure 4 shows a sketch of part of the curve C1 with the equation y equals to 12 sin x, where x is measured in radians. The point P shown in figure 4 is a maximum point on C1. Find the coordinates of P. We need to find the coordinates of point P. If you look at the figure, this is the first maximum and uh, this is the second maximum. We know that this is the graph for the sine function, but there is some kind of transformation. You can see uh, there is a vertical stretch here, 12 sin x. Normally, the value of the minimum value for sine, uh, sine function is minus 1 and maximum value for sine function is 1. You should memorize this. The value of sine is starting from minus 1 and uh, this is the minimum value and maximum value for sine function is 1. So to find the maximum point, to find the maximum value for y, you should use the maximum value for the sine function. Let me start this part over here. y equals to 12 sine x at maximum sine x equals to 1. Maximum value is 1 for the sine function. Okay, So from here you can easily get the value of x x is equals to because the value of x is measured in radians therefore you should make your calculator more in radian mode okay you know that uh, sine inverse 1 is 90 degree and if it is in radians so it will be pi over 2 radians it means this value is pi over 2 so value of x is pi over 2 what will be the corresponding value here for y because you are substituting sin x as 1, sin x is 1, therefore we can use value for sin x 1 and we will get the corresponding y value. So this value will be 12. So this is 12. But we need to find the second maximum. This is the first maximum. This is the first maximum. To find the second maximum value, to find the x coordinate, look at the figure. Here it is a complete cycle from here to here. This is a complete cycle. You know, starting from maximum reaches to the maximum again. So this is a complete cycle. So one period for sine function is 2 pi. If you add 2 pi to this angle, you will get this corresponding value. Second maximum will be x equals to pi over 2 plus 2 pi. Because uh, period of sine function is 2 pi. This is one complete cycle, 360 degrees. 360 degrees means 2 pi. So value of x will be equals to 5 pi over 2. This is the x coordinate of point P. Y coordinate will be the same. This one, you know, it will be 12. Implies that the coordinates of P will be, first we will write the x coordinate, that is 5 pi over 2. And uh, y is 12, corresponding to this x value. So this is the answer for the first part. Hopefully you understand it. The curve C2 has equation y equals to 12 sin x plus k, where k is a constant given that the maximum value of y on C2 is 3. Second part, find the coordinates of the minimum point on C2 which has a smallest positive x coordinate. So this is the equation for curve C2. Let me write this equation over here for the second part. y is equals to 12 sin x plus k, 12 sin x plus k. In this question, there are two things given here. One is given that the maximum value of y is 3, maximum value of y is 3. This function is given in sine, so maximum value for sine is 1, as I told you earlier. So you, can, you, you could use here maximum value for sine that is 1 and at that point value of y is 3. It is given as well. So maximum value of uh, y is 3. You know that uh, y will be maximum when sine x equals to 1. So this is the first thing you have to find the value of k here. And then we will go uh, to find the minimum point on C2. First of all let us find k by using this information in the first part. You can use here at maximum sine x is equals to 1 y is 3 it is given y is 3 it is given in the question and we know that at maximum sin x equals to 1 
substitute these values here so it will be 3 and then you can use here 12 into into 1 plus k so value of k will be equals to negative 9 this 3 minus 12 you get minus 9 so the function is 12 sine x minus 9 this is the function now we need to find the coordinates of the minimum point on c2 minimum point on c2 find the coordinates of the minimum minimum point which has smallest positive x coordinates for this part to find the coordinates of the minimum point you can use here at minimum you can use the value for sine x as minus 1 i told you the minimum value for the sine function is minus 1 if you use here minimum value for sine function as minus 1 you will get the minimum value for y from here you can get the x coordinate as well you know that uh, x sine x is uh, minimum at minus 1 when it, it is equals to 270 degrees 270 degree means 3 pi over 2 actually if you use calculator your calculator will give you the answer negative pi by 2 negative pi by 2 means this angle from here to here you know it will give you this one minus pi by 2 uh, but you have always measured your angle anti-clockwise so this angle is always 3 pi by 2 okay you know if you remember in degrees it is 0 and here 90 degree in 90 degree means pi by 2 and here pi 180 degrees 270 degree means 3 pi by 2 in radians and 360 means 2 pi in radians okay so this angle is 3 pi by 2 from here to here so you will get the x value here 3 pi by 2 and if you substitute this value there in this function sine x as minus 1 you will get the corresponding y values as well so y will be equals to 12 into minus 1 minus 9 and y will be equals to negative 21 so this will be the minimum point minimum point has coordinates 3 pi by 2 and negative 21 so second part of this question is done hopefully you understand this one as well let's move on for the last part of this question now we have curve c3 that has equation y equals to 12 sine x plus b where b, b is a positive constant given that pi over 4 a where this one is x you know and this one is y where a is a constant is the minimum point on c3 which has the smallest positive x coordinate find the value of a you need to find the value of a very simple just substitute this point in this equation you will get the coordinates so you will get the value of a first of all let me write this equation here y is equals to 12 sine x plus b this is equation for curve 3 pi over 4 and a lies on curve 3 therefore you can substitute these values here you know the first value is x and second value is y so substitute these values here y will be replaced with a 12 sine x will be replaced by pi over 4 plus b so this is the equation let me go back there in the question it is given in the question that this is the minimum point this point is the minimum for minimum you know that uh, sine function is negative 1 at minimum at minimum you can replace sine function with minus 1 you can replace sine function with minus 1 so sine pi over 4 plus b will be minus 1 substitute this value here minus 1 replace this value with uh, this one you will get the answer for a first part is done a will be equals to 12 into minus 1 and uh, value of a is minus 12 so this is the answer for the first part first part is done now for the second part we need to find the smallest possible value of b now to find the value of b we can get the value of b from uh, this equation for second part sine x sine pi by 4 plus b is equals to minus 1 
we know that if you take inverse of uh, negative 1 and your calculator should be in radian mode, if you take inverse of this function, sin inverse minus 1, it will give you minus pi by 2. But uh, minus pi by 2 is this angle, as I told you earlier, this angle is minus pi by 2. If you take uh, measure your angle from here to here, clockwise, then it is minus pi by 2, but you have to measure your angle from here to here. You know, it is always measured from x-axis and the clockwise. We know that this angle is 270 degrees. In radian, it is uh, 3 pi by 2. So, pi by 4 plus b will be equals to 3 pi by 2. From here, you could get the answer for b. b will be equals to 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 4. Solve it by using calculator or mentally you can solve it. You will get the answer as 5 pi by 4. Multiply this by 2, it will be 6. 6 minus 1 will be 5 pi by 4. So this is the answer for the second part and the last part is done and uh, this was the last question of this exam. If you have any doubt, any problem in this question or in previous questions, please write in the comment box. Thank you.